Welcome back to Andrew G. Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you one simple trick to make your bathroom, or anyone's bathroom for that matter, smell amazing. And I'm also going to show you a little trick where you never have to scrub the inside of a toilet again. Well, almost never. I got a whole line of goodies here for you today in this video, so strap on your seatbelt. We are going for a fun ride. Potty mitts and dude bombs. These are absolutely amazing. You can sneak these in your purse. You can give these as gift ideas, housewarming gifts, whatever the case may be. And it will make your toilet, after you do your duty, smell wonderful for hours, you guys. Hours. And it makes it so you do not have to clean your toilet as often. Bubbles. I love bubbles. For all you men out there, you put the dude bomb in the pot before you do the bomb. Can you see the message that we send to our guests? Don't take forever on the S-H-I-T-T-E-R and make sure that you leave it smelling better than when you came in. <laughs> Here's why this works so amazing. Not only does it smell awesome, but you'll notice some like a thin layer of oil right there. So the next time someone uses the bathroom, your poo will not stick around here and create residue. The next idea for you, we use all of these in my house and anywhere we go for that matter. This is poo spray. Get it at the Dollar Tree. It is $1. They also make it in a lemon scent. Or you can make your own homemade poo spray, which I'm gonna show you right here. It's super, super easy. In this little bottle right here, if you are using essential oils, technically you do wanna use an amber bottle, but I put it in clear bottles like this and it works just as fine. Anything will be, I talk about will be linked in the description box below. I'm gonna use one and a one fourth cup of water. Then I'm gonna go in with a fourth a cup of witch hazel. You can also use rubbing alcohol. It works just as well. I just have a bunch of this thing around because, well, I had four babies, TMI. Then you're gonna take some essential oils. I've been absolutely loving the peppermint. Oh, I'm obsessed with this right here. This is a great starter kit when it comes to essential oils. I absolutely love it. It's got some great scents in there. And then this right here is Castile soap. If you want a more all natural poo spray, I would highly recommend this soap right here. Give it a good shake right here. I'm so excited to show you this. We used one and one fourth cup of water. We used a fourth a cup of witch hazel or rubbing alcohol. Essential oil of your choice. You don't have to use this, but it just gives it a nice scent. We went in with the peppermint, about 10 drops. And then just a few drops here of this Castile steel soap. This is going to help emulsify the fat much like it would do on greasy pans or dishes because we all know what's in the poo. Yes. Okay. Enough said. So this you can use before or after. Technically you would use it before you, you, you spray before you poo, but I like to use it anytime really. It smells wonderful. And again, it's going to help you um, prevent you basically from cleaning your toilet as often because it's going to create a film a little bit around the toilet right here, which will prevent the fat from sticking to the inside of the rim or anything else for that matter. And it will sanitize because of the rubbing alcohol. Yahoo! Now, I don't usually use these all in combination. Like, I'm not going to use a potty mint and then use the poo spray. I just like to change it up a little bit and have a little bit of variety around here. But these just make all the difference, especially if you have guests, because nothing's more embarrassing if you have to do something somewhere and you don't want to do it. But if you have things set up for your guests, it just makes everyone feel a little bit more comfortable. What I'm going to do on this particular bottle right here is just take my Cricut and make a nice label right here that will say poo spray. You can see the size comparison right here. I like both of these just for different reasons. Of course, you can take this in your purse, but if you're worried about liquid spilling or something like that, use those potty mints. They're wonderful. I don't know why more people are not talking about the potty mints. And if you've been around this channel for a hot minute, you know I'm obsessed with this flush and sparkle. It's been almost three months and I have not had to clean the inside of my toilet tank right here. It normally would be brown almost every single day because this toilet is old. It has scratches in it and my kids often forget to flush the toilet. You guys, this is a game changer. Again, more people should be talking about this right here. Anything that I talked about will be linked in the description box below. And now you will have the best smelling bathroom no matter where you go at your home, anybody else's, a restaurant, a public restroom, anything, you name it, it's gonna smell absolutely awesome. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so that it can reach more people. Share it out to Facebook and Pinterest. Sign up for the weekly cleaning hack newsletter and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.